are going to learn some basic commands. Okay, and this basic commands, I will be I will be seeing how to communicate to a database by using some command. What exactly is the syntax you need to follow in order to create a in order to create a database objects? Syntax is very very important to create a database. To create a database, OK, you have to write a command or maybe I can call it as a syntax. That syntax system will understand and it will create a database on its own and the syntax you have to use is you have to use something called create database database name. This is a syntax that you have to write it. OK, let me repeat the one which is written in the blue color is the command system will understand. OK, I have to create a database. The blue color uh, words which you are seeing is called keywords. This keywords, this keywords tells us the database. It gives a command to the database telling that hey, can you create a database with the database name and that database name can be anything? It can give anything. OK, now what I will do now what I will do, I will go and create one database. So this is one database. Suppose tomorrow who knows you may go and work with any school application. You may go and work with any Amazon application. You may go and work with any Flipkart application. The first thing is maybe you look to create a database. Maybe in school TB, students will be in one table. Teachers will be in one table. This will be in different tables, but end of the day, everyone belongs to one school. The school is a database which stores all the information. OK, now what I will do? The same thing I will go and create it. This is a code editor. Now we are going to start our practicals. I don't need a help command. Because anything I don't know, I'll go and search in the Google and I will not bother this. This I'm giving as empty. This is a schema level. I would say so far whatever database I have created, I can see this. In your case, you may not see anything. Because for the first time you are creating your own database. OK, and here here which session or what is the connected details? Everything you can see here. This is where it is very important for you where you will be writing the code. OK, now let us go and write our first syntax. I'll zoom it for you. So first I'll go and write create. It will turn to blue color. Why? Because of it's a keyword create database database and I'll give something like. School DB. This is the same syntax which I'm seeing here create database database name for every object you need to give a name. What database it is. OK, so this is a school DB. OK, but. For the entire application, we will we will work with something called we will work with something called Amazon. It's a very good example because everyone uses Amazon. Everyone knows how to use Amazon. So let us take Amazon as a example. OK, now if I run this, if I run this, you have to select everything. You have to select the line. There is one button called spark button. If you can see there is a button called spark button. You run that you run that in the sense in the history or the output. You will get the message. You will get the message create database Amazon. And if you see here, there is something called there is something called green color mark is coming telling that the code did not have any syntax error. It was executed successfully. Suppose I make some spelling mistake. 
suppose I make some serving mistake, I run this. You have an error in SQL syntax. Because system understands the keyword called. Create. What is this create spelling? It does not understand what it is telling. So there is a cross mark. Always your code has to be in a green color tick mark telling that there is no syntax error. If you instead of create, if you tell create, the system will not understand. The system will understand only the proper language. If I speak in English, you will understand. If I speak in Canada, will you understand? Never. For both of us, the words and the communication has to be in sync. For that, I need to use a word or the unique command that you will understand. This is not the right. This is not the right syntax. The syntax will be create database database name. OK, I run this again. Again error. What is error? Create database Amazon. You cannot create a database Amazon database already exists. Remember one thing. Remember one thing. Every database object name should be unique. Since since I've already created a database with Amazon, I cannot recreate it. OK, there is some small refresh button. If you refresh it. These are all the database that has been created so far. And our database which was created has come here. OK, now what I will do, I will create one more database. Create. Database. Amazon one I'll keep. Now I will get one year. Observe it. Observe this. Database created green mark is coming. When I say green mark, this name does not exist before. This is a syntax for creating a database. If I go and click a refresh. Amazon one is also coming. OK, suppose I don't need. Suppose I need one more database. I'll go and click this. One more also I got. Amazon two. you go and refresh. You'll go and see here. You'll go and see here. OK. There is one more thing. There is one more thing you have to remember. OK, suppose suppose let us see. Let us see. What are the databases available? What are the databases available? How do you? See which database is available. Very simple. I will just go and I will just go and see here. I will just go and see here. OK, I will just go and see here. These are all the databases that is created so far. But if I want to see it, if I want to see it in the command, I can write like this show. Databases. Show databases. The show database will display all the database that has been created so far. Maybe for school, I have created one database. For Amazon, I would have created one database. For Flipkart, I would have created one database. For KSR, I may create one database. For one batch, I would have created one database. There is a um, uh, Indian e-commerce company called One India. For One India, I would have created one database. So everything I would have created one one database. That database, if I want to see, I can just enter the command show database. I will read. I will write the command. Okay. Comment is actually with hash symbol. This will not execute. This is for your understanding. This is to create a database. This is to create a database. OK, so same thing. I've created three examples and this is to. This is to view. All the database that is created so far. That is created so far. OK, now now 
coming to coming to the next one there are different database there are different database okay but there is only one database that is highlighted there is one database that is highlighted let us see what is that let us see what is that why it is highlighted because currently out of this 20 database okay this database is active when i say active when i start creating any tables it will directly go and sit in this database because this is active how do you know whether this is active or not select if you run a command called select database it will tell which database is in the which database in the active state now i will go and write this to see which database currently this database is active but i don't want this database because my database was this one amazon okay what i need to change it to this database is you have to just go and tell use amazon when i say use amazon from this active database the connection or the changes will apply to this telling that going forward you create any tables you will be creating in this table okay let us run this okay i run this i run this no errors now i'll go and again run select database now if i see amazon will be selected amazon will be selected so now my first step is created that is created a database the first step is created called database okay now now let's go here let's go here this i will tell it as to change to active database use use command okay so i'll go one by one i'll go one by one initially i created a database initially i created a database and i just displayed all the database that is available in my system all these are database which is there maybe all this previously i created previously i created all this blue color is previously I created now i am cre i've created three database amazon amazon one amazon two okay so that i can see it in all the uh, database list and then when i see database some other database was active that means uh, yesterday i was working on some database or maybe today morning i was working on some database some function or maybe uh, some different batch now i want to change it to this current database which i created now i will go and use use amazon i will write it to change the active database now if i select again database now it has been changed now it has been changed okay so far nothing we have done we have created just the database okay now suppose i don't like this i need only this i don't like this amazon one and amazon two i don't want when you have the permission to create you have all the privilege to drop the database as well drop database amazon one i just i'm using this database i don't want this database i don't want this database i will go and drop it let us see what is the error we are getting we did not get any error we did not get any error drop database amazon one see it has dropped from here let, let me drop two also it will drop from here it has dropped let me drop this also main database that is also gone that is also gone okay now i will recreate it i will recreate it always the best practice is okay if you are creating any database the name should be proper either it is it should tell it is a school database it is amazon database or it is a ksr database 
some naming convention has to be given some naming convention has to be given also the best practice always they they follow is uh, after the creating a database at the end they will suffix with db telling a database for example amazon underscore db school underscore db okay suppose you are working for some uh, uh, covid data let us say covid underscore db db tells us it is a database db stands for database some standard will be there so what we will do what we will do same thing we will follow same thing we will follow create database database name okay see amazon database is not there amazon db uh, db1 is there amazon db3 is there but i need one database which i am creating here if I refresh i go